today I'm going to show you some different ways that you can use a pack of cards to practice some of your maths fluency. If you don't have a set of cards at home, don't worry because I'm going to show you a really easy way of making your own pack of cards using a piece of cardboard, some scissors and a pen. First of all, start off by using either a ruler or something with a straight edge in your house. You can use this to make sure that your cards are straight. Once you've done that, draw around your template at least nine times. This will give you cards of one to nine. You may want to make more cards if you want to make your games harder. Once you have done that, cut around all of the lines that you have drawn on your cardboard. This will make a pack of cards. After, write the numbers one to nine on each of your cards. Once you have your two piles, you will need to add the two numbers on the top. So 9 add 1 is equal to 10. Keep doing that for every set of cards that come onto the top. So the next one is 1 add 4, nice and easy, is equal to 5. Keep doing that until you finish your pack of cards. If you finish your pack of cards, you might want to shuffle them up and start again. So I've got my cards, numbers 1 to 9 to start with, and I've put them into two separate piles. So I always need to start my subtraction with the biggest number first. So my first subtraction is 8, subtract 3 is equal to, and the answer is 5. So I'm going to take those and put them to the side, and I'm going to do the next subtraction. Ah, but here, my number 7 is first, so I'm going to so I can see 9 subtract 7 is equal to 2. Well done. Put those on the side. The next one, or oh, a nice and easy one. 2 take away 1 is equal to 1. I've got the number 6 and the number 10. So my biggest number is 10. So I'm going to do 10 take away 6. It's a number bond is equal to four. Well done. If this is too easy, have a go at playing the game using all the numbers from one to 20. Don't forget to start with the biggest number first. <laughs> 